Hello my friends, this is Gladys again coming to you with uh, this video tutorial. We are officially going to start our um, accordion tag box. Okay, So I'll give you some measurements and I'm hoping that we can finish in about three tutorials or three, you know, a little classes. Um, it's a small project and um, I am going to have you I kind of cut everything ahead of time and then we'll we'll go ahead and start putting it together but for today's um, tutorial you're going to learn how to make the envelopes that we're going to be using in here and like I said we could buy them too but I think it's a lot of fun to use what you already have um, I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me all right you're going to need 10 um, cardstock or any any paper that you would feel that you know kind of matches to the envelopes that are being used um, the ones that you buy in the store or any cardstock that you feel like it could work for you okay and the measurements that uh, you're going to need it's nine by eight and a half so what I did is um, got uh, cardstock there eight and a half by eleven and those ones you just chop off, you know, on the 11 inch size, two inches, because we um, are using a nine by eight and a half, and the sheets are, are already um, eight, eight and a half by 11. So that was pretty easy. I chose this um, craft color um, cardstock that I've had, I don't know how long, and uh, I don't even know where I got it. But anyhow, um, though that's the measurement nine by eight and a half, you need 10 of them. And for tutorial uh, time sake, I had already um, cut or pre-cut all of them, and I scored them, but I'll tell you where you're going to score. All right, so once you haven't cut nine inches by eight and a half, you're going to put it on your scoreboard. I am using Martha Stewart just because I really like um, her scoreboard on the on the nine inch side you're going to score at three quarters of an inch so again nine inch side we're gonna the first score mark is going to be at three quarters of an inch and the other one is going to be at seven and three quarters of an inch so three quarters of an inch at the beginning and seven and three quarters of an inch at the end on the nine inch side. You flip or turn your page to the eight and a half inch side and now you're going to score at two and a half and you're going to score at six and a half. This will give you a um, envelope that is um, that is going to be seven or seven by four. So that's the size of envelope that we are um, looking for. All right, so you can see, hopefully, yeah, you can see the score marks right there. All right, I'm going to remove my scoreboard because I am done with that one. And we're going to go ahead and start doing, you know, our creases. I always like to do those just to make sure that we do have a, that everything is matching, you know. And how come that one's not matching? Oh, there it is. And sometimes I don't go really deep because many times I had um, ripped the paper from doing this. All right, and it looks good. All right, so what next? What is next is to cut the corners, all the corners. And I'll give you a little tip. You know, you can cut right on the score line. I go just a little bit above that, so it's almost to create a little snip, you can say, but it's really not. Um, because if you don't do that at the time of closing your, or gluing your um, envelope, it could create an issue. And then you have to go and fix it, you know, but um, I still have to go and fix them anyways, you know, just because I'm kind of a tedious person, but that's what you're going to be doing. And remember, um, if we were using, uh, if we were making envelopes regularly for anything else, we would save these pieces because out of this one we will take the little round fasteners. But uh, for this uh, for this tutorial, we're not using that. Okay, so 
we can dispose of them. All right? This is the time in which we're going to round all our corners. You don't have to. I just think they look really nice and just like how they look. So again, you're going to need about 10 envelopes and these are going to be 7 by 4 and the measurement that you need to cut your paper is 9 by 8 and a half and on the 9 inch side you're going to do your first score line at 3 quarters of an inch and then 7 and 3 quarters of an inch then you will turn your paper to um, the eight and a half side and then you're going to score at two and a half and six and a half so get your envelopes ready and this is basically what I do you know I just cut them all at once and get them moving leave me any questions um, or anything that I may not have explained um, correctly. The original box has um, eight envelopes, but um, if you watched my last uh, video, uh, you'll remember that I said that we were I was going to tweak with um, with the sizes a little bit for better stability. So that's basically why I have to redo this um, envelopes. Um, and the other thing that I mentioned in my last video is um, on my blog you will have pictures of my envelopes as you know on this, this, the several stages of uh, building your envelope. So pages, um, I'm sorry, uh, pictures of them and then the information with measurements and everything. So if you want to go there to my blog at um, heart of a gypsy at blackspot.com and um, you'll be able to find me there under tutorials and videos so you can find me there and I'm still loading them up right now and it's kind of slow I'm having uh, some sort of computer issues but, okay so let's recap this because that's the whole thing we're going to do in this little video um, again you sh you're going to need about 10 of this ones right here um, nine by eight and a half is the size of your paper that you are needing right here. Nine inch side, you're going to score at three quarters of an inch and also at seven and three quarters of an inch. And you flip it to, excuse me, you flip it to the seven and, uh, to the eight and a half inch side and you're going to score at two and a half in six and a half so ten of those and then you get yourself all um, done with your envelopes and um, I gotta go get this measurements I, did, I didn't have them in here I thought I did let me stop the camera for just a second and I'll be right back